what is going on? This girl, it seems like she has everything down to the T. Today we're reacting and analyzing this video. 13 year old CEO making $6 million last year to see if they're the real deal or not, to see what we can learn from this little girl. Make sure you guys keep watching. Hello friends, my name is Wilson, your friend in helping you build a thriving small business and a profitable food business. If you guys enjoyed these type of analytical videos and sharing with you lessons and stories, make sure you guys smash that like button. It shows me and Jason, this is the type of content that you enjoy. So then that way we can make more of this for you. So go ahead and smash that like button. Now, without further ado, let's dive right in. One day when I was seven years old, uh, I walked into the bank with my dad and the bank teller offered me a lollipop. And my dad told me that I shouldn't have candy because you know, sugar's terrible for your teeth. So I asked him, well, why can't you make a healthy lollipop that's good for my teeth? And after about two years of research, plant trials, product development, we finally created Zollipops. Wait a second, how, wow. I'm super inspired by her dad being able to inspire her kid, being able to give the confidence her daughter to go and create, and being able to actually walk them through what is needed, the process, the systems, in order for them to, to go through this creation together. That is, that is something I'm, I'm inspired by, and I'm definitely gonna learn from that. Whoa. Originally, it was just me wanting to have a candy that I could eat without them saying no about it. During my research, I found that tooth decay was the single greatest epidemic facing kids in America today. But once I found that out, I realized that I could really help a lot of kids smile. Wow. Clearly, she has been doing a lot of interviews to know exactly how to articulate the problem she is solving in the marketplace in such a concise way. I am super proud of her. Like, wow, it puts me to shame at times to see people like that being so well put together, being so clear on the problem that she's solving. So good job, good job. And for those of you guys who are watching, the reason why she's able to actually solve this problem or like actually gain the traction that she has gained is because she's solving a very specific problem in the marketplace. So when you are creating your food item, if you are able to solve a problem in the marketplace, that itself is what's gonna gain you the following and the results that you're looking for. And by the way, guys, oftentimes where we find the solutions or where we find the problems is uh, in our daily lives. We can be as creative as we want. We just need to be able to have the observation technique to see in our lives what is bothering us, what is the solution. And if there's no solutions readily available, that itself is an opportunity for you. Guys, I'm just hopping in to share with you guys something super important and super time sensitive. If you're looking into starting a food business, but you just don't know where to start, or you just don't know where to start because you don't have the experience in doing so, you could end up making some very costly mistakes that could cost you tens of thousands of dollars. Or you focusing on the wrong things, draining your time and resource and money. And that's the reason why I created a free masterclass where I share with you how you can leverage Instagram in order for you to build your food business, whether it is a cloud kitchen operation, whether it's a home bakery, whether it is a food truck. This contains all the mistakes and learnings that I have encountered in my decade plus experience. These are things that I wish I had known when I first started. So if you guys are interested, then definitely check it out in the link below and enter through the free live masterclass. So it has xylitol and erythritol in it, which naturally raise the pH in your mouth, neutralize the acid and actually strengthen your tooth enamel. So it takes away the bacteria that causes cavities in tooth decay to grow. What? Wow. Wow. 
Wow. Like all sugar and sugar free. Dum Dums, Blow Pops, Tootsie Pops, Ring Pops. We're selling more than them. And those are, those are like childhood staples. Like I grew up with that candy. Dum Dums is what they offered me at the bank. That's what, that's what kind of started all of this, you know? Wow. What a great inspiration. I am speechless. So wow. Seeing that we are, well, I'm not saying that we're better, <laughs> but we're better for you, and we overall have like a better quality of product. So mm. seeing that, it's really exciting because we know that we're making a difference. We're not just selling a, a candy. We're selling a lollipop that cleans your teeth. That's good for you. Um, so it's really, really amazing to see that. Wow. Mm. It's crazy how they're doing things so correct. It seems like that's the playbook that everyone follows nowadays is that, you know what, donate parts of your profits to charity, uh, give talks, inspire other people. And these are things that, you know what, a lot of entrepreneurs are doing nowadays. But she started when she, it was 2014. So it's, it wasn't a norm yet. So this is something that I'm really, really inspired by because it seems like that she has a lot of good people around her to guide her along her path to make these decisions. Um, and for her to say that it means a lot more than selling just candy because now she's able to impact other people's lives in a positive manner. And this itself is very, very inspiring. There's so much you can do with Zollipops. It's not just a candy that you can give out of a tree. We also teach kids about science because our product is basically simple chemistry. Um, it raises the pH in your mouth and there's tests you can do with pH test strips to actually prove that in the classroom. And it could be a lesson on entrepreneurship. Wow. It's not just a candy. It, it empowers people and it's just really a functional product. It can teach people a lot more than just having it because it tastes good. A functional product. Who is this girl? 13 year old. I really want to meet her dad. Learn from her dad. How do you inspire? And by the way, I'm not taking any credit away from her. Um, I think that she's a really smart cookie. I think actually, you know what? 50, 50. 50% 50 I think is nature and 50% is nurture. 50% nature is that she is, she's really smart. She's really talented. And at the same time, if she doesn't have the environment to allow her to blossom, allow her to feel safe, to explore, feel safe to actually go and create, there's no way she can be where she's at today, which is the reason why I'm really curious to know who her dad is. Wow. I definitely feel like I've had some successes, but I don't feel like I've succeeded because we haven't reached our mission. We haven't helped every kid in America smile. Wow. What is going on? This girl, she seems like she has everything down to the T. Super modest. Knowing the fact that, and setting a mission that is very, 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 very difficult to achieve, that would take a lifetime to achieve because being an entrepreneur is, is a lifelong lesson. It's a lifelong journey. That's the reason why being able to make every American smile, it's pretty much an impossible feat to accomplish. That's the reason why she will keep innovating and keep pushing this business to the next level because this is a mission that is not meant to be completed, yet you can strive to be the best that you can. As an example, my Apple, they wanted to put every, a computer in everyone's lap. That was their mission. And now they're slowly getting there. Slowly, but still, not everyone has a laptop. So definitely, Crazy, so crazy until inspiration. We succeed and fulfill that goal. I'm not gonna stop. This girl is the real deal. Zolly Pops is the real deal. It is a great inspiration. I feel like she truly believes in everything that she's saying, and she's been like clearly she's been through a lot of training she's been through a lot of mentorship to get her to where she is at right now and i can't really imagine where she is today 
um, as we speak because I can see that she is going to be somebody because of her attitude, because of her willingness to learn. And this is what really sets the, the, the people who are good apart from the people who are great. Um, I, I'd love to meet her. I, if you are watching, make sure you guys reach out like, or if you can put me in contact with her, I'd love to meet this girl, learn from her, see what she's up to right now. Um, once again, if you guys enjoy these type of videos, me reacting, me giving you my feedback, analyzing whether this is the real deal or not, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and make sure you guys smash that button. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.